Hey guys, welcome back. So today, isn't that pretty? That one's not so good. I had a gas leak in here on this tank. And, oh, if you can, let me get the light. Let's shed a little light on this one. And this is the cheapest Mustang on uh, Marketplace. So it's in the seam there somewhere. In this whole area right in here somewhere. And it does leak. And where is it over here? I think it's right here also. It's everywhere on the seam. It weeps. It doesn't actually run gas. It just weeps it out. And at $3 and some cents a gallon, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to leave it weeping. So, I pulled the tank out. Yep, one barrel doesn't work with this kind of a saddle tank. You need two. Nope to self. So, I dumped it upside down with just a little bit of gas come out of it because I had run it down until the light came on. So, 400 and, uh, $523 delivered, the best price I could find on this tank. And it is a Dorman, and made in Japan, and I think it'll be fine. It matches up pretty well. So that's what the, the next thing here is to do tonight is to get that tank back in. Uh, of course, you have to pull the dry shaft, have to pull the exhaust. I had to cut the little coupler that comes with the exhaust. I don't know where it is. Somewhere on the floor, under there. See it? Right there. Had to slice it because the few short months it was in, it was on there pretty tight. And I heated it and I tried to wiggle it and it wouldn't move. So I got the hot wrench and got it out of there. So I got a new one order. I'll be here tomorrow morning and I'll put the exhaust back on it. But I'm going to try to get the tank in. I'll hook back up and the dry shaft in it tonight. I'll hang the exhaust pipes I can. Put the seat back in it. Of course on these, you gotta pull everything out because, where did I put that light? Oh, over here, hang on, don't get too dizzy. I spin kind of fast here sometimes. So, yeah, that's how you get into these tanks here. You take the wiring out of them. Pull the back seat. Same thing to change the fuel pump. Change in the tank on these is not one of my favorite jobs. <laughs> I pulled some bad tanks out, but this one, this one's tough. It, it literally wedges itself up in there. You could probably drive down the road. It wouldn't fall out of there with the, with the straps on it. But so here we go. Up I go. I'll bring you back after I, oh, my cardboard creeper fell over. The wind was blowing here, blew everything around. Just can't have anything nice. I, I throw this out, but I think, there, I think there's still some use left in it. Same with this one. This one is when I crawl under the car and put, the, put everything on it. So, so we're going up, and I'll bring you back after I get the tank in, and we'll take a look at it there. See you soon.